The part of Michelle Bauer is now being played by Joy Lentz. I don't know what I'm hoping for. I hope you thought out of our lives for good. Yeah, well, we can only be so lucky. This is where we left him, Jesse. This is where he fell right after Michelle hit him with the rock. After we both hit him. Yeah. He's not here anymore. Well, well, maybe he got up and left. I mean, thank God we didn't kill him, right? No, Michelle, no. This means he's angrier and he's walking around out there. No. Yeah, but, you know, there's a very angry and dangerous Mick out there, Drew. If he was mad when I put him in prison, how mad do you think he's going to be now? Hey, let's hope it's just him we have to worry about. I mean, we've all seen what kind of friends Mick has. Mm. Guy's connected. Yeah, and those are the type of connections that are goons. They have a nasty habit of coming around for revenge. <laughs> We're in trouble. A hell of a lot of trouble. Diana, my sweet baby girl, I wish I knew where you were. Are you safe, my angel? Can you feel how much your mama loves you? on the investigation. Well, why do you have to give him a list of all those men's names? Well, we think that one of these guys might be my baby's father. And maybe he might be able to help us unseal her files. Oh, but you've been through so much already. Isn't there any way you can reopen those files by yourself? No, I don't think so. The state took Diana away from me. And so by law, I'm not allowed to look at these records. But me being arrested has nothing to do with him, whoever he is. So he might have a chance. But you've worked so hard to come this far. Are you sure you're ready to go back into your past? I didn't want to do this at all. I wanted to bury this stuff so deep that I'd never have to even think about it again. But the bottom line is, Abby, that's who I was. And nothing was ever going to change that. Well, I think you're very brave. <laughs> well, let's see about that. But at any rate, if digging up painful memories will help me get my girl back, then it's worth it, right? Okay. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Holly came next to fetch some scotch and left without her daughter. Some mother. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, I'm going to check this place out, make sure it's clear. Oh, sorry. God, you drove me home. I would have walked into this all by myself. <gasps> Somebody's still here. All right, let's see what kind of sick freak scaring the hell out of Springfield. You think we walked in on the stalker? <sighs> You're a very beautiful woman, Cassie. You know that. Thanks, Josh. I know you're trying to help. Oh, I'm just telling you the truth. And you need to hear the truth, right? No more compliments, brother-in-law, okay? <gasps> but they're true. Oh. Hi. Well, here you guys are. Cassie, are you okay? What's going on? I, I just, I'm just upset and Josh was comforting me. <clears throat> oh, I know what's going on here. You do? You didn't tell Hart about the baby, did you? No, it's over. It's over. Hart left me for good. Oh, my God. God. Sean was right. I don't know what to do. We've got no idea what to do. Cassie, you don't need Hart anymore. You've got Reed. I wish I could see Reva's smug face now. 
She always believed nothing could be stronger than Joshua's love for her. Well, you just have to know where to look, Reva. Because you know what? I found something. It comes in a little brown bottle. Suggestions work like a charm. I told Josh that he would find Cassie desirable. And boom, the next thing I know, he's Don Juan. I told you, you would pay, Reva. And you will. Starting with your loving Joshua. By the time I'm done with him, you will have chased your beautiful baby sister right out of town. Why didn't you tell Hart about your baby? That he's the father? I couldn't, Riva. I mean, he admitted he didn't love Dinah, but he's gonna stay with her. So you're gonna let him trap himself in a loveless marriage? What am I supposed to do? He's already made his decision. Everything would change, Cassie, if you just tell him that he was the father of your baby. Change. Change for the worst. I would be in battle with Dinah for Hart forever, and then he's just always gonna feel guilty for what happened to her. And my baby cannot have a father that's divided. He just can't. And you know, the worst part, the worst part is that I know he still loves me. He looked me in the eye and he told me that he was still in love with me. But you know what, Cassie? I'm sorry it's over. I mean, I think I could deal with it if, if, if he had fallen out of love with me or, or if he even hated me. But knowing that we're both still in love with each other, it's... It's torture. Yeah, it's torture. You know, it... Why am I surprised? I mean, I was happy for a few months, right? It's a record for me. Cassie, you're gonna be happy again one day. Besides that, you know... Hart can't possibly give you all the things you want anyway. Thanks. I mean it. Cassie, you're a smart woman, a beautiful woman. A funny... Any man would be lucky to have you. I'm gonna go make some tea. Anybody want some? I'm fine. No, thanks. Okay, I'll be right back. Reva, could you not leave? quickly in hell. You didn't think that I actually meant that thing about staying away for a whole month, did you? I mean, I missed you after a day. That long? Don't push it. How are you here? Ah, uh, I could say that I just happened to be in the neighborhood. That would be a lie. And you know I hate lying. Why are you here? I need a friend. Well, all I can offer is me. That's all I want. <laughs> so, how are you? Jim Dandy. Liar. <laughs> you were probably thinking about Blake when I arrived. Oh, please. That's old news. I'd rather talk about your problems. Huh? Okay. Well, for starters, mm -hmm. the entire Spalding household is completely immersed in the wedding to end all weddings. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, the day the doves cry and the earth stands still. Oh, I'm not kidding you. It is all anyone talks about. That's it. And to make matters worse, my own daughter is in the wedding. <laughs> I mean, they should just build this as the rub salt in Beth's wounds party. <laughs> I mean, do you know... How many times I have heard Philip say he has finally found the woman of his dreams, finally? So he probably needs the reassurance. Better off, anyway. But still, losing's no fun, huh? To say the least. Especially when the people who are supposed to love you desert you. Who, me? Mm. 
No, 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 not you. My mother. She now thinks that I'm after Matt Reardon, too. Oh, that's comforting. Yeah. I don't know where she comes up with this, that I am such a hussy that I would go after a married man. Well, you and Matt have something going on? No, no. I mean, we... We get along very well. We, we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. We laugh a lot when we're together. Is that all? Mm. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, yes, we are just, we're, we're friends. That's good. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We have this, we have this amazing connection. And, um, he did give me flowers. Two lips. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to go down this road with you. I, I do not want you on my back, too. I prefer your front, eh? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I admit it. I enjoy being harassed by you, but no. It's my turn to harass you. Because I enjoy it, especially when you look so miserable. Well, you don't think all black is cheery? You look like a man whose heart is broken. Or Blake? I haven't given her a second thought. Where's Frank? He should be back by now. You think the stalker is still here? I don't know. Frank, did you find someone? No, nah, just the loose shutters. Just yeah. Banging in the wind, so. Um, that noise we probably heard was somebody going out the window. If the stalker was here when we got here, they're gone now, believe me. Shouldn't you be out looking for them? I'd beat Terry and call for some backup. So, listen, I'm not leaving you ladies alone until somebody shows up. Oh, oh, it's me! Put it Jeez, down. Don't knock oh. You ever heard of knocking? Hey, I didn't know what the hell was going on in here. I was counting on the element of surprise. Oh, well, it worked. Really? What happened here, Cooper? The stalker left. I called for some backup. They're on their way over here. Looks like the nursery rhyme stalker has struck Holly again. He's been watching me the whole time, ever since the flowers, and now he's back. Do you think I could be the next poison Oh, victim? no, Mom, you're fine. You're safe. Nothing's gonna happen She's to right, you. She's right, Holly. You are safe. I mean, what has he got against me? First, I'm a rotten mother. Now I'm a lousy drunk. I don't even drink anymore. Mom. Come on, don't lie about this. You... It's obvious you were drinking tonight. You even admitted it to oh. Frank earlier. So what? Well, you just said you don't drink anymore. I said I'm not a drunk. I, I, I went to Towers. I had one drink to steady myself. Come on, my brother's in jail. Nobody listens to me. What am I supposed to do, honey? No one is accusing you of anything. Yo, Frank wanted to throw me into jail. Just calm down, because you've had a rough night, all right? I have had a great night. What are you talking talking about? Are you kidding me? Somebody breaks in here and wrecks my house is the best thing that could have happened to me. Are you serious? Ken is in jail. The stalker strikes again. What does that prove, folks? Ken's not your man. It also proves that there's somebody out there still waiting to strike. Introducing the Braun All-B 3D Plaque Remover. Its unique 3D brushing action loosens plaque that sweeps it away, cleaning deeper and better than an ordinary toothbrush. Sunday, the NFL is on CBS 2, the way it should be. Sponsored in part by Pacific Bell Wireless. David Hasselhoff, Eddie Cibrian, and Coolio on the next tower. The many sides of Sears. Every tree needs the proper nutrients to grow. The same thing applies to the growth. Rick and I will do anything we can to help you out. Oh. Well, thank you, Abby, but I can't have you guys get involved in this mess. Huh. Hey, I am your friend. I'm already involved. You know, I really don't think you understand what we're talking about here. The life I led, all the men. I have a hard time even talking to you about it a little bit. Why, because you think I'm so innocent? No. Because it embarrasses me. I'm ashamed of it. Where do you think we met? At a church social? We were in prison together. I remember where we met, Abigail, but you didn't belong there. 
I shot a man. I deserve to be punished, but I am out now, and so are you. We all make mistakes, and our friendship is based on not judging one another. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all very nice. But I just don't know how it'll hold up if you find out everything I've done, and I just don't want you to think I'm a bad person. You know, I might have thought that at another time, but I have changed. We all do things that we regret, and I know that people make choices for many different reasons. You're an amazing creature, you know that? Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, I have to go meet David. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. You know what, Abigail? What? I think I'm nervous about going to California, and I haven't been nervous in years. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you are. What if I find my daughter and she doesn't want to see me? Or what if she sees me and she hates me? What if she feels exactly the same way you do? What if she goes to bed every night praying that she'll meet you? Have you thought of that? Yeah, I think about that a lot. God, I hope you're right. Okay, I'll see you later. God, I hope I'm right, too. You know what? If you hadn't hit him in the head with the rock in the first place, you would have been hit on me, Michelle. I saved you, okay? I saved you. Besides, you were the one that knocked him out. You it you. doesn't matter who did what. And we have got to go to the cops about with this whole thing. You saw how easy he got out of jail last time. We can't do that. Which means he has even more of a connection than we thought. Great. What? What do you mean, like an end with the cops? Yeah, maybe. And if we can't trust that, who are we going to tell? We tell no one. So what do we do when he comes looking for revenge? Because you know we will. We'll handle it, all right? I did this. I did this. I'm sorry. I did this. I always have to push things to the limit. I have to have him arrested, right? You were just, you were protecting your life. Why, why did I have him hit? Huh? Why did I hit him with the rock? I should have let him have you. I should have. You don't mean that. Don't say it. No. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, so am I. Look, we didn't have a choice, right? It was self-defense. He was going to hurt us, Drew. Oh, so I have an idea. We just tell Nick and his dangerous friends, you know, Mr. Gangster, you can't hurt us because we did it out Come of self-defense. This isn't funny, all right? I'm not laughing. Michelle and I are sitting ducks. Well, that's why we got to do something about this. What? What? What are we going to do? I want to have a plan, OK? Cassie, what's the problem? I don't know. You shiver. I'm okay, Josh. I'm fine. You know what you need? You need a nice hot bath. No, you know, um, that's nice. But, no, you, you know. do, sweetie. I'm gonna go start the, the water. You don't have to do that, Riva. You really don't have to do that. I know I don't have to, but I don't want any arguments from you. And what's up with you? You're not acting like yourself, either. I'm just concerned about your sister, that's all. And that's why I love you so much, Joshua Lewis. What did you say? That I love you, Joshua Lewis. I love you too. Good. <laughs> um, you know what, Cassie? Um, things between you and Hart, they're going to work out just fine. You just have to be patient. That's Wait all. a minute. What the hell was just going on between you and I? What do you mean? The way you were touching me, standing so close to me. What was going on, Josh? What? If I didn't know better, you were getting ready to kiss me before we even walked in that door. Mom, if you have trouble sleeping, take a Unisom. It helped last time, didn't it? on my brother, can you? Or, or did he escape from jail, come and wreck my house, and then slip back in between the bars? Ken didn't do this. Ah, finally, someone from the force is making sense. No, I'm taking it easy. 
right? You were so sure he did this because he was the easiest answer. Well, guess what, Frank? He didn't do it. And apparently, neither did Annie, since she is dead. So, I guess you two are actually going to have to do some real work now. I think you should get a hold of yourself. I think you should have listened to me from the beginning. I told you he was innocent. Mom, you picked on someone who couldn't defend himself. You two should be very proud. Very proud. Now I have an editorial to write about the stalker case. You can count on being prominently featured. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I'm Wait. sorry. She, I understand. She's had a really rough time. I mean, I, with Meg and Fletcher gone, and then all of my problems with Ross dumped on her, and Ken being thrown in jail. She's just, she's just been a wreck. I, and now she's a victim of the stalker. You don't have to explain anything. It's okay. She was going to her AA meeting. She, she wanted to quit drinking. I, well, I should have known that problems don't get solved this quickly. Say that again. Well, we certainly have our work cut out for us. We do. I, I gotta run out. I'll be back in a minute. Okay? Come before me. I'll be back. Something. The stalker's made a change. What do you mean? It's the first time that a victim's been tapped twice. It's strange, Blake. Serial criminals, they usually don't change their M.O. midway through a spree. Yeah, but this person is sick. Who knows what's going on through their mind? I don't know, but something's just not right. You're still watching that game? Yeah, it's going into overtime. I'm going to take my break now, okay? I think of it. Hey, so um, are you sure this is a good time? Yeah. Good time. Okay. I mean, I'm on a break. You work two jobs. A really good time is hard to find. Right. Well, listen, did you bring your book with the names of your, um... Johns? You don't have to sugarcoat it, David. Johns is already sugarcoating it, actually. Okay. Johns. Yeah. I brought it. It was really hard looking through it. I'm trying to put the names of the faces. I'm so not proud of all this. It's like taking a step back into hell. Wilson, did you figure anything out? <clears throat> well, I've done my best to narrow down some of the names. And from the date the doctor gave me when my baby was conceived, the father has to be, or should be, on a piece of four guys right here. Do you mind if I copy these down? No, go ahead. It's going to help me find my girl. Okay, well, listen, Selena, I need you to do something for me. I need you to try and remember as much as you can about these guys. Maybe they told you something about where they're from or where they work. <laughs> I know it was a long time ago. Uh, no, that can't happen. We, it's not like we had intimate conversations. You, know? you gotta tell me something. So where were we? Oh, yes, you were talking about how you haven't thought about Blake. Why don't you tell me what you haven't thought about her? Well, I haven't thought about the fact that she and Ross are over. Really? Mm -hmm. So soon. It wouldn't last. So does that mean you're back in the... So where were we? Oh, yes, you were talking about how you haven't thought about Blake. Why don't you tell me what you haven't thought about her? Well, I haven't thought about the fact that she and Ross are over. Really? Mm -hmm. So soon? It wouldn't last. So does that mean you're back in the running? She came to me. And why aren't you happy? Well, she wanted me to represent her in her custody battle against Ross. And what did you say? I turned her down. Good. <laughs> Who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. In my next life, I want to come back as the wild woman that everyone thinks I am. I want to break up marriages and string two men along and just damn the consequences. I just... Well, her kids are her priority. Oh. oh. 
You've got a ban. You are defending her now? I'm sorry, I have a thing for mothers. Look, I... I told you she was attracted to you because you were off limits. She likes the chase, and when the chase is over, she wants to start another one. Yes, and you also told me I was attracted to her because she was my brother's wife. Admit it. You haven't been refused by very many women. Hmm? I mean, you are pretty hard to resist. True. <laughs> I bet you've always been a ladies' man. Big man on campus and college, dating all the cheerleaders. Actually, my undergraduate years were not exactly my happiest years. that this group of fraternity guys from nearby college dragged this really sweet kid in to see me in Vanna. The first time experienced one more kind of thing. A gift for their friend. No, I don't think so, though. It was more like some kind of mean joke or ritual hazing. And he was a freshman. They were, they were picking on him. They were older. And they were really getting their jollies about how embarrassed he was and how scared he was to be there. Well, he was nervous about seeing you. Well, yeah, but more than that, I had a feeling that he was nervous about me seeing him. Because he kept putting his hands up to his face, and when the boys pulled his hands down, he all side of his face with a really badly scar. Like some crimson horrible fire. You know the Phantom of the Opera guy? I mean, he didn't even want to stand in the light. Poor kid. Yeah, and these guys were definitely not his friends. They were making fun of him and calling him all kinds of names and really being brutal. So finally, I just made this big fuss over him, like I had seen him there with uh, some of the other girls, and they had talked to me about him and said how good he was and how he had this rep for being this, like, stud. What did the uh, frat guys say about that? Oh, well, they couldn't believe it. They were flabbergasted, but I finally convinced them, and uh, they finally left. And the kid thanked me and started to leave, and... I wouldn't let him. And I told him that I knew what it was like to be different and that I really liked him. And, you know, would you stay, please? I just stayed. He certainly did. And stayed. And stayed. And I really remember him because I didn't charge him. And that was the first and last time in my entire career that I ever did that. No, I don't think I'll ever forget him. Everybody's got to calm down. This is what's going to happen. You have to make sure that Drew and Michelle are never to be left alone. All right? Ever. Done. Okay, we got to camp out in my loft for a little while. Just got the best access to the stairs and the fire escape in case we need to get out a little quickly. Okay? So Michelle and I will never have to leave. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Okay, we're all going to have to lay low for a few days. Let this all blow over, okay? In the meantime, we all keep quiet, right? No one knows it, no one finds out. I think if we, um, we just watch our, each other's backs, we'll be okay. It's the only way we're gonna stay safe. Cassie, for crying out loud, I was just trying to help you. Maybe you were trying just a little too hard, Josh. Oh, come on, why, why is it wrong for me to want to comfort my, my almost sister-in-law? You were doing more than comforting, Josh. You were putting the moves on me. I can't believe you would even imply that. You were about to kiss me on the lips. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 now. Come on, I think this thing that's going on with, with Hart and Dinah has it, got you stressed out a little bit. I think your imagination is working overtime, Cassie. I was just trying to help you to feel better. Well, it seemed like you were trying to feel me up. Hey, Cassie, come no, on, you're please. you're going to stand there and tell me that I'm way off base with this? Yes, I am. I love Reva with all my heart and soul. You know that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to pick up on her sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. It's all right. I just... Uh... I guess I better not get too close. I would want you to get the wrong idea. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm it's sorry, okay. Josh. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Stop apologizing. Go on upstairs, take your bath. There's uh, no sign of anyone suspicious in the neighborhood. Any footprints? No, no, I checked the front and backyard. There's nothing. Ah, uh, all right, thanks. Okay. The trail is probably cold by now, Frank. If only you hadn't spent so much time on the wrong suspect. That's enough, Holly. Hey, Frank. What? Listen, if, you, if, you, if the stalker's tapping people twice, we should, we should warn the previous victims, right? I mean, ben Warren was practically killed, and, and, and your sister Harley, she was put in the hospital. I'm going to call Ben. I'm, I'm going to warn him. Don't He's in danger. call that man. I think your mom's right. Let us handle it, Blake. I think it's time to let Ken out of jail. I have some more questions for you, Holly. For me? Yeah, just help out with the case, you know, to clear your brother. Okay. So after I saw you this morning, you went to Towers for a drink? That's right. Did you go straight there? Yes. Anybody see you there? I don't know. Why are you asking me these That's questions? That's logistics, Holly. After you left Towers, did you go to the police station or did you go to home first? I went home. Before or after Towers? Before. I mean, after. After. You when you went me. home, when you left, did you turn off the lights? Of course. What did you do when you were home? I don't know. I just... How'd you get the red paint underneath your fingernails? I don't have... couldn't have paint on them. Is that because you used gloves, Holly, to spray the walls? Frank, what are you saying? So, I think your mother did this. Terry! Hi, how are you? Come on in. Uh, actually, I don't want to intrude. Do you mind stepping outside? Uh, sure, no problem. Right. Uh, sorry to bother you again tonight. I was, uh, just worried. About what? Well, Cassie came in, she was so upset, I got paged by Frank, so I had to leave. I didn't have time to find out what was wrong. Well, there's nothing wrong, nothing that police would care about anyway. Well, maybe not police, but how about a friend? <laughs> Everything's fine. In fact, we're even Cassie upstairs right now. Everything's fine? Yes. But when she... She what? <sighs> nothing. I... Headache. Sorry. Do you still want to talk to Reba? No, actually, that problem worked itself out. So if everything's all right here, I'm just going to yeah, head back fine. to the station, so... Okay. All right. Take uh, care. You know, could I just bother you for a glass of water before I go? I'm so thirsty. Sure. That's not a problem. You, right. want, you want to wait out here? You want to come inside? No, I'll stay outside. Okay. It's nice. Fresh right, air is good right for my head. Thanks. Damn it. Why isn't this working? Well, Reva must have got to Josh somehow. Cassie should be in his arms by now. Oh, fine. Just rewind a little bit more, okay? Good. Good. That's the work. Let's do the trick. Ready, Josh? Did I didn't right. get that on you, did I? Yeah, just, just a little bit. That's okay. There you go. Thank you. Sure. Wow. Boy, it is a beautiful night, isn't it? Mm.
incredibly attracted to Cassie. You can't resist her, so stop fighting it. time I invited you, but I am hungry. Let me say we go get something to eat. Sounds good. I'm oh, starving. Good. Well, why don't you go upstairs and then get a table, and I'll go get my wallet, and then we can eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, don't touch that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, why don't you go ahead? I'll be right up. I just have to make a call. Huh? A, uh... Business call or a late call? I know you so well. Just go up and get the table in the restaurant and I'll be right there, okay? You say so. Thank you. I want you to focus on how much your family loves you and get a good night's sleep. But how do I learn to live without heart? You will. There were times when I thought I could never live without Joshua either, but you do. You go on, you just do it. I love you. I love you too.
magical world of fun. Follow the lights to call a friend. Hi, Mickey. You've called a friend again. The new Follow the Lights phone can even be programmed to teach... This has been Guiding Light. Footwear provided by Coach. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, powerful new painkillers from nature, and you won't believe what they're from. The story later.